Hey everyone, today we're going to be looking at setting up a dual boot partition for the Steam Deck for Windows and SteamOS to be together and we'll dive right into it. A couple things to note is that you're going to need a flash drive for Gparted. You're going to either need to replace that then with Windows or have a second USB flash drive and a mouse and keyboard hooked up to the Steam Deck. Highly recommend it. This guide is also intended for people with either the 256 gig or 512 gig uh, solid state drives. You could try to do a 64 gig, but you're not going to be able to do a dual boot. You'll have to wipe SteamOS, and if you want to keep SteamOS on a micro SD, you can see my other video. I'll link it in the description as well. Now, one final thing you should be aware of is once Windows is installed, then it will become the primary boot. Uh, on the bootloader so that means that when you start or restart the Steam Deck it's going to want to go directly into Windows so to boot into Steam OS you hold down volume minus and power or volume plus and power and get to your boot menu and then launch it from there so the first thing we're going to need to do is download the Gparted ISO And we'll just download this latest one for the AMD 64. That'll automatically download. While that's going, we'll also need something to write the image uh, to the USB. So we're going to use Rufus. And we'll just download the latest version. Once those are both done downloading, we'll open up Rufus and we'll actually start to write the image. So once you have Gparted installed, you're just going to be opening up Rufus and then browsing here with the select button to the Gparted ISO. Um, up here you'll need to change your device. I currently don't have a flash drive plugged in, but uh, it will be listed here. Just choose the correct device and then you can say start at the bottom once that finishes you'll continue on also if you don't have a Windows device in your household then you can use UNet Bootin instead of Windows to write the flash drive right to the flash drive and that'll accomplish the same goal for that for both Gparted and for the Windows ISO okay so switched out my bootable USB to the G parted, do the volume plus and power again to get it to boot up. Select my generic flash disk here. And we're just going to press A at this menu. After about a minute, it should come up to this screen. We'll just again press A. And we're going to press A, A. So default for everything, A is enter. We'll let it load up the rest of the way here. Okay, so since the screen is vertical, I just flipped the video here so it's a little easier to see. But basically we're gonna go in here and we're going to select the correct drive. It looks like it's looking at my micro SD right now. So we'll switch it to my solid state, which is gonna be the NVMe. And then in here, we're going to need to shrink the home partition. You can see it's the largest file size. Um, this is our main SteamOS partition. So we're going to want to go ahead and go to the top here where it says partition. We're going to want to resize the home drive. And we're going to have to set the new size in megabytes. So this is going to be set down to something like 32,000 or you could set it to say something 50, 60 gig. Also, please keep in mind that you can set this to something higher if you want to, if you want to have SteamOS have a larger part partition, but I can't recommend going anything below 32 gig gigabyte. So one big important thing not to miss is that you need to also make 
this unallocated space into another partition. And the reason is, and I just found this out, <laughs> is if you boot into SteamOS and there's unallocated space, it will extend itself when it boots up and you'll get a very slow booting process and you'll need to shrink it all over again. So we're going to go ahead and go to partition at the top here and say new. And I'm just going to make this NTFS. And then at this point we can go to the top of Gparted and say quit. And then we can go ahead and say exit if I click this right. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and say shut down. All right, and now we need to download the latest Windows 11 client. So back on our Windows computer, we'll download the installation media or the ISO, it's up to you. Um, we could just use Rufus with the ISO. Once that's downloaded, like I said, just use Rufus. Uh, you could use the installation media, it will guide you through the same process. Okay, so once Windows 11 is fully downloaded, you'll go ahead and open up Rufus and then select the select button. Find the ISO you just downloaded. Make sure that you have your flash drive in and select it as the right device. And then you go ahead and click start here. And you can just leave all this default. Um, this will disallow the Microsoft account from being required. So it might as well just keep all that checked and say OK and say OK again and again and just give it a little bit of time here to complete. OK, so now that we've got our Windows USB all flashed up, we're going to go ahead and connect it up to the Steam Deck and hold minus and power until it beeps and then you can let go. And yeah, we're gonna, just like G parted, we're gonna boot into the USB flash disk. Press A. Okay, and now we are here at the boot menu. I had to flip the uh, video so you could see it okay, because it comes in sideways. And we'll go next with the right trigger and install now. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and just say next to this for now. I don't have a product key and choose your version of Windows agree to the terms and here we're gonna say custom install only and these first eight partitions are Steam OS so here you can see the NTFS partitions um, I've created are just these 200 meg. Yours may be larger at this point, that's okay. You can just delete the two NTFS partitions or one that you created. And once you delete the two, then you can use the remaining space for Windows. So you go down to the bottom where it says unallocated space and you're going to want new and you set the size by default it's maximum. Just click apply, say OK. Windows is going to make its own set of partitions here. So you can see here that it's got one reserved partition and then the primary boot. So now we're good to go. We can go ahead and install Windows and we'll say next. And that's fine. We can just say OK as well. And we'll let Windows install. OK, so once it uh, finishes installing and reboots, it's going to take a little bit here to get it booted into Windows the first time. It will come in flipped on the screen. So you will have to switch it to landscape to get it to be viewed correctly. And from here on, um, you can look at Celeste Hart Song's YouTube and GitHub 
that has an automated setup for most of the Steam Deck stuff. And otherwise, you can use the wiki for her step-by-step -step instruction, and I'll link that in the description as well. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you have any questions, you can uh, talk to us at the Steam Deck Discord, and I'll link that as well. Thanks, and have a good one.